OK, thing. just want to uh, interrupt, guys. Uh, Kate McCann, I think you've got James Utteridge from number 10 who's been sent out to speak on behalf of the Prime Minister. Is that right? <laughs> I do. I do have him with me, Piers. My producers are just micing him up for a quick second. So while I let them get on with doing that, and then we can have a chat with you uh, on air with James Dudderidge, who, as you say, is here to talk in support of the government. One of the biggest questions, I think, is how we move on from this, how the Prime Minister moves from where can he you, is right now Can you right ask a question from me? Got to be tomorrow. Can you ask him a question from me? Of course can, I can. Can you make it the first question? Just say, Piers would like to know, what the hell is Boris still doing there? Serious question. <laughs> well, two seconds, two seconds, and then he will be mic'd up and I will ask him. Okay. And I will ask him that question for you. But look, Does, at the end of the day... While the we're waiting for this guy to be mic'd up, if Boris Johnson forward. spoke to him, I just want to say, if you're watching Love Island tonight, you want to switch over, because this is more dramatic than anything Love Island can give you. This is political Love Island. In fact, it's the opposite. It's political hate island, where everybody hates each other and they're all trying to kill each other. It's Games of Thrones meets <laughs> Love Island. Uh, Kate, is he mic'd up yet? Not yet, OK. Before we get this is extraordinary, isn't it? We've got a, a guy from number 10, <coughs> Trevor, who's been sent out. Oh, OK, we're going to go back to Kate McCann, I'm sorry. Kate, ask him my question. So, yes, Piers, I have a question. James Sandridge, thank you so much for joining us Always this a evening. pleasure. Piers Morgan has a question for you. How can Boris Johnson stay in office tonight? I'm happy to answer questions from you. My wife would divorce me if I took questions from Piers Morgan. Well, take I refuse the to go from on me. with him take because the it's, from it's, me. it's terrible. I love you. You're brilliant. Take what question, question have you me. got from me? How can Boris Johnson stay in office tonight? He's seen a steady stream of cabinet ministers turning up at his door, telling him that he needs to move on. He's seen the chairman of the 1922 committee doing exactly the same, and yet he says he's the right man for the job. So he can do it by coming out fighting. He can come out and do it by making quick appointments tonight. We expect appointments. Um, he can come out by being bold. He sacked Michael Gove. I wasn't in, in there. I don't know why, but I'm told he was sacked, sacked Michael Gove. He's listening to people. He's going to take action next week with his new chairman. Chancellor Exchequer is going to launch a new economic uh, plan um, that will include tax cuts. I don't know what type of tax cuts, but that was what he promised when he wrote uh, to MPs, a three, four page letter that was delivered on the vote of their confidence. Uh, okay, day he's following him, through uh, does, on that. Does he, think he's, does he think he's now Britain's comical alley? Uh, yeah, 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 sorry. I, I've got Piers in, in, the, in the end. The only person that's comical here is, is him. He should get back Well, if to you can hear me, if you can hear me, my ears, yeah. if you can I hear love, me, you're I, being... I love Kate. I will answer to Kate, but I'm not going to answer to you. I think it's very, very bad TV. I don't need to be disrespectful. Okay, look, really? Well, okay, okay, let me tell you what I think of you, you impertinent little twerp, I'm right? In the middle of I think you're very let's, bad let's TV. Get... You're the comical yeah, alley of British politics. Everyone's laughing at you. So if I suggest you take a little mic off and pop off back inside. Um, Rude but, little man. Yeah, I think it makes good, good TV. But, you know, this crap about um, it being like Love Island um, is, is rubbish. We love one another. Thank you so much. We do have Piers. to have to say. Piers, I, think, uh, I think, unfortunately, we've uh, lost our opportunity to talk to James there. But, James, uh, thank you, thank you so much. Let me help you unclip that. <laughs> Uh, which is in your this pocket. Good, there we go. I didn't mean to be rude. I hope That's I'm quite all right. But Piers, look, one of the one of the big things there. <laughs> one of the big. Well, hang on, Kate. We can't just pretend what happened didn't just happen. happen. Thank, thank you. Is he thank still attached so to you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Piers, one of the things there. One of the things that we did learn there. Well, hang on, uh, hang on. Kate, okay, we can't just pretend <laughs> that didn't happen. Who is that guy? A, who is he? Uh, and B, how dare he be so rude? Who is he? Uh, do you know what? I feel like I'm in the middle of some beef that I didn't know even existed <laughs> until 10 seconds ago. I've never met the guy. I don't know who he is. Who is he? <laughs> he is here to talk in support of Boris Johnson. Well, he was. He was here to yeah, speak but who, in support who is of Boris he? Johnson. Unfortunately, who is he? He's, uh, he's gone. He's why well, Tory MP. I mean, very supportive, very loyal member of Boris Johnson's team. Wow. I mean, and there are, you know... There are uh, a few of them out tonight. We've heard from Jacob Rees-Mogg. Can you ask him, can you ask him, when we're finished, can you ask him if he'd like to bring his wife on the show tomorrow night and have a little two-header? Look, I can do my best and ask him, but he's, uh, he's gone to speak to another crew, so I fear I may have missed my a chance. A terrible loss for this show, uh, for Piers Morgan Uncensored, but he is now being called Comical Alley, apparently, all over Twitter. So I think the loss is probably more his than it is ours. But, uh, Kate, fantastic effort, most entertaining. Thank you for all your brilliant work tonight. Uh, the madness continues, and uh, hopefully we'll get him and his wife on tomorrow night. Um, <coughs> well, that's about... <laughs>
That's about... Thank you to my panel, uh, to Trevor, to <laughs> Ava, to Esther. Thank you all very much. It's been an extraordinary night. It has. We've had people who've been... Uh, had to lose their jobs for watching porn in Parliament, taking the high moral ground with gropers called Pincher. We've had Alistair Campbell ripping his mic off and storming off because someone had the effrontery to call him out. God forbid. And we've had some MP I've never heard of tell me his wife hates me and then say he's fed up with me talking about Love Island, which I hate, uh, and he's not going to talk to us anymore either. Quite extraordinary scenes. I think my fit... Apparently he's a PPS to Boris Johnson, which must be one of the loneliest jobs in the history of British politics. Duddering Dudderidge, the comical alley of world politics, has uh, decided he's too grand to talk to me, and so's his wife. Well, you know what? I don't care, because you're not going to be in a job by next week. And I am. So that's that. Um, another extraordinary day in British politics. The greasy piglet and his little greasy minions remain in Downing Street in their sty tonight. But for how much longer? The clock is ticking on Boris Johnson's time as Prime Minister. And you can take this bet to the bank, Mr Dudderidge, Dudderidge, whatever your name is. You and your boss will be gone by next week. Take it to the bank. That's it for us tonight. Keep it uncensored. Good night.